Hello everyone. Today I want to do a full walk through our sexy application and tell you everything you need to know about it. Once you go in it, you're going to be greeted by a prompt message that requests an access to your Bluetooth connection of your phone, which you always should allow. That way you can connect your OBD device to this smartphone. Then there's going to be a short tutorial that you should definitely check out. But for now, let's skip it and go all the way at the end where we request an access to your notifications so we can send you a push notification once we have a new update. That's why we always suggest for you to have them on. Before we do anything, we need to go straight into the commander settings and pair our OBD adapter to this smartphone. Immediately, it's going to start searching for it. And once you find it, there's going to be a security step which you should execute immediately. And that's going to request you to double press on the right scroll wheel and press continue. Before you do that, you're not going to be able to connect to the OBD. We do this so nobody from outside the car can have access to your vehicle. Once you're connected, you're going to see the full list of the smart actions but we're going to talk about this in a second because there's another important step to do and it is to update the commander's firmware if it has an update so you basically go inside the settings and on the top row you're going to see firmware update currently it's grayed out because i have the latest software version already however if it's in white you should press on it and wait for the download to complete if you want to read everything about the current update and the past, you can just press on the release notes and scroll down through the entire list. Now let's go back to the commander itself. Here are our smart actions, which are unique features that allow you to enhance your driving experience on the go. Everybody finds something useful with these features, but for me, Currently, my most favorite is the continuous autopilot, which automatically re-engages my autopilot when I'm on the road and I do a lane change. So if I know that this feature is for me, I just need to press activate, read the instructions, how to use it, confirm that I'm ready to start using it, and then I can adjust some small tweaks just to make this feature more customizable for my driving style. For instance, Right now, it says that in four seconds after the turn signal stops blinking, the autopilot is going to re-engage. However, that's too long of a period for me. That's why I want to short it up to two seconds. And also, it says that if I'm driving with less than 65 kilometers per hour, this feature is not going to work for me. However, I still kind of want to use it inside the city. So that's why I want to say I do not want this feature only to work when I'm in the close neighborhood or I'm just driving with less than 30 kilometers per hour. If I want to deactivate this feature, I just press on the toggle and it's not going to be active at all. You should definitely check out all the features we have available. And if you want to learn more about them, you can go on our website and read our blog. But let's go back to the home screen and check out what's happening in here. So on the top left side is the name of the vehicle that's currently connected to the commander. And with a future software update, I'm going to be able to rename this vehicle the way I wanted it. But also I am able to add a second vehicle, which is pretty useful if I have two cars and I have two commanders at the same time. So every time I step in one of these cars, I can select in which car I'm in and then use the settings of that car on my phone. Also, you're going to see this beautiful Tesla like dashboard, which looks exactly as the dash inside the Model S when it's in track mode and currently displays three stats. One is the current speed, obviously. The second one is the amount of discharge that I'm producing while I'm driving. And the third one is the amount of region I'm getting at that specific moment. Under the dashboard, there is a section we call smart tiles and in it you can assign different stats or actions to the app itself and activate it within. So for instance, I like to use a couple of actions while I'm on the go with my phone and one of them is going to be folding my mirrors. So I basically go inside the settings of the mirrors, I scroll down, I found the fold mirrors and I save it. And while I'm here, let's add another action that I often use while I'm on the go and it's going to be a battery preconditioning for fast charging. 
So when I'm all happy with the actions that I want to use on my main screen, I can activate them just by a simple press. Now I'm folding and unfolding the mirrors. And for the battery preconditioning, I can see what my current temperature is. Right now it's 22 degrees. I'm in the Model 3 Highland and that's an average temperature, but not enough for fast charging. Usually you want to have it around 30. So what I'm going to do is press on the icon and I'm going to manually start preconditioning my battery for fast charging. Right now you cannot hear, but there is a sound indicating that the battery is heating up. So whenever I'm happy with the degree of temperature that my battery is, I know I can stop this feature and then proceed with my fast charging at the stations. You can customize this the way you feel comfortable using it. You can even add more rows so you can utilize it as you feel comfortable. But I personally prefer when I have only six because for my driving style, that's more than enough. Underneath is a section where I can program my physical sexy buttons. So when I press on it, I can see how many buttons currently I have installed. And at the moment I have zero. So if I want to pair some of my buttons, I press on add a button. Then I take the physical button, press on it and wait for the confirmation message to tell me that it's a successful pairing. If I want to change the function of the button, I just need to go in. And at the moment, I have pre-assigned the glove box feature, which is pretty cool. I'm actually going to leave it. But however, you can go in and change it. Let's say you can open your trunk, you can open your door or wherever you feel comfortable. Or you can actually delete it. If I press on the delete and you confirm it, there's not going to be any feature assigned to a single press of the button. But let's keep the glove box feature active as a single press for now because I want to use this button for my passenger. And what else my passenger can actually utilize this button for? Maybe for changing the music. So as a double press, I can go into media, I can go and assign a, a feature called next song, save it, and now every time they press once on the button, the glove box is going to open, and when they press twice on the button, the next song is going to get played. As you can see, you can add even a third feature to one button which is long press so for each button you can have up to three actions at all times if i want to delete again just press on delete and the feature is going to be removed you can add up to eight buttons to one commander which means you can assign up to 24 different shortcuts which is going to be more than enough for most of you however we're also about to add some Tesla Cloud features. These are all the small features that are available to use from your Tesla application on your phone, but soon you're going to be able to assign them to your buttons. So features like boombox, dog mode, biohazard weapon, whatever defense mode, you can assign them to your buttons in the future updates, but not for now yet. What else can we do here? If you want to delete the button itself, you have two options or you need to go in the button that you want to delete scroll down and press remove button or what you can do is just press on the button hold it it's going to take about 12 seconds or at least uh, until it stops blinking so after the time is passed the button is going to be removed and now you're ready to reassign this button to a different commander or just you can pair it once again if something is not working properly in your opinion so yeah as you can see there's an option to add your sexy knob also with this application however we're going to talk more about this in our future update and a couple of last things i want to mention is that the dashboard is only available in vertical mode this one specifically and we're going to be expanding on it very soon. However, if you want to see a horizontal version of the dash, you can always use our original first dash that we created two years ago. And a lot of the sexy buttons users are already using it on their daily drives. So this is going to be your horizontal dash for now. And this is going to be your vertical, but soon you're going to be able to use both in both states. And last thing, if 
you feel like something is wrong with the features they're not working properly right now for you the commander is not behaving the way you want it to behave what you can do is you can go inside the commander settings and then on the bottom you're going to see a factory reset or reboot of the commander so if you can connect at the moment or it gives you like a weird sensation that it doesn't perform the way it used to sometimes a reboot can help you can also unplug it for a couple of seconds and just plug it back in and 99% of the times these small actions are going to improve the performance of your unit this is pretty much it about the application it's still in an early state we're going to be improving it constantly so definitely stay subscribed and also don't forget to subscribe to our newsletter on our website because we always send emails with all the improvements we've done or if we have any new update pending for you thank you so much for watching and tell us down in the comments what do you think about this new update see you soon